single day. Hey, Shara County, the Shara County Copwatch, and I thought we'd try something new today. Double laser and honk for Trump. Uh, not doing fuck Biden. I was earlier, but I wanted to see how many people would honk for Trump. And yes, as you can hear, there is a lot honking for Trump. So anyways, everybody needs a laser. Like it? Love it. Everybody needs a laser. Yeah. It's, it's doing a high fl uh, flicker rate, so you gotta try uh, bumping your speed on your shutter, I think. Oh, that's right. Yes, yeah, it's really hard to get. Yeah, how do you... Uh, more. I'm trying to... Yeah, I, there's a shutter speed here if you go into Pro on Android. Uh oh. And I think it's on 10. On 10. Yes, yeah, so I can't see anymore, man. I can move more. Yeah, the shutter speed right there. I got it on, set on 110. That's how you get it. And it's a little bit light right now, so it might it might be hard to. Uh... But as you notice, I'm trying to piss off everybody because they hate free. They hate free speech here. You know that, right? Oh yeah. They banned free speech. You know that, right? No. Yeah, they did. Three years ago, they banned it because I did fuck Biden, yeah. and then I uh, I got uh, I got tickets, fines, lien on my house. I had to sue them. We sued them in uh, state court. We won that, yeah. and then we took another case to federal court. We won that, and then they finally got rid of the bad law. But they literally banned free speech here. Right here. Right here in Punta Gorda. Dead serious. And because I was doing the laser on a government building, uh -huh. uh, you know, it was huge. It was yeah. beautiful, right? Because laser can go forever, right? Almost. Anyways, they now made that illegal statewide. If I sign it on a building without permission, felony offense. So when they keep telling you guys, we're a free state. Yeah. <laughs> so. Well, another couple months, maybe. Yes, hopefully. 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 Good luck, buddy. Well, I appreciate you being out. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. See, there's another one right there. Thank you for the support. I appreciate it. Well, thank you. Yes, thank you. Okay, did I do good? Right? Everybody needs a laser, man. Whoa! Whoa, you're not supposed Dude, to. We have the worst president ever in office. That's correct. It's Don't bad. We? It's bad. It's very, very bad. Did you ever think it would get this bad? No. Not in my lifetime. I know. How young are you? 70. All right. I'm 59. I can't believe it's this bad either. I remember freedom in the 80s in high school in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Drinking, drugging, sex, all that shit. Not a big deal. And now we're a fucking police state. Look what they did to Trump. Look what they did to January 6th, right? Anybody that speaks out is going to be arrested now? Is that insane? Unbelievable. Yeah, they tried to shut Trump up. Correct. Before. Correct. Yeah, so now they're doing it again. Did you see he did offer $100 million and they just denied? No, um, I just saw it where they, he wants to give $1.2 billion right. to relieve all the student loans. Wow, you that's fucked that? up. That's fucked up. That's Is that you legal? Think? Can he, can he pay my house off? Is that even legal? Can he pay my house off? By the way, that's the first time I tried Hunt for Trump. So we'll see how it goes. I usually, as you saw, do fuck Biden. Which oh, they'll, awesome. they'll honk for that's that, awesome. too. That is correct. So I'm trying to piss everybody off because, yeah, they ban free speech here. Have you lived here for a while? About three years. All right, yeah. I live right over here in Punta Gorda. All right, so you remember they did ban free speech for a while? No. They literally did. Three years ago, when during the election, I did the fuck Biden flags. They literally banned free speech. I got tickets. I got fines. They put liens on my house. I had to sue them in state court one there. I took another one of those cases, took it to federal court. We won there, and then they finally got rid of the law banning free speech. But because I was doing the laser on government buildings, it was awesome, dude. 20 feet by 20 feet. It was beautiful. Uh, anyways, now, holy shit. Now they fucking, uh, they, they made it. There we go. Wow. Whoa. What the hell? Anyway, now they made it a felony offense. If you don't get permission, if I shine it on their building, felony offense. Really? Just because I was doing fuck Biden before on the side of a building. Which is not permanent, is it? No, it's not. No, it's not. That's like your light shining on there right now. 
So yeah, it is sad. Very, very sad. I'm sick of the whole thing. I was in, you know, before Brady's is on um, Sand Hill. Yes. You from yep. this area? Yes. Yes, I am. Over on Sand Hill. I live on deep in Deep Creek. Right. Anyway, I was in there. This is about a year and a half ago. I was in there. Two guys sitting there eating. The two guys talking about it. And, and the one guy says to the other guy, he says, you know, I'm glad to see that Jimmy Carter's still alive so he can see firsthand he's no longer the worst president <laughs> oh my ever. God. I that is good. I said says, amen. That is good. That is very, very good. It, it is the truth. It is, it is it's sad. It's the truth. Dude, I have never seen it go like this. Like I said again, anybody that says anything. Did you hear about that? One of Glenn Beck's reporters is now he has to turn himself in for doing January 6th stories. Just for doing... That's, that's another issue. That right. It's January 6th bullshit. Correct. There's people in, in uh, jail, sitting in jail because yes. of it. Yes, yes. Shouldn't be there. That's correct. Uh, and it should be a misdemeanor charge, not felony charges. It's, it's so corrupt. It's like they do whatever they want. It, it, it's that... If we're, I did it, we'd be in jail. That's correct. We are third world banana republic now. Are you proud? Oh, oh yeah. I I'm not. A, I saw a sign the other day that says, "I love my country. I'm ashamed of our government." Ooh, that is absolutely true. Hey, by the way, the reason why I put DeSantis on here is because half of the stuff that he did is actually killing free speech. Did, did you keep up on everything that him um, and some of his Republicans did? I I don't like following the news anymore. All right, because it, it is bad. I'm so sick of it. It is bad. You get sick of watching. But if you want the real news, you know to go to Twitter, right? Yeah. Do you know the world is on fire right now and they're not even reporting on it? All the European countries, the farmers are protesting because of this global warming bullshit. Um, I know they are in, uh, is it Poland? Yep. You know what you're doing in Poland? See, because I've been talking to a girl from Ukraine. Right. Okay. Be so very I'm careful. Supposed to come over and visit <laughs> right. me. Oh, God. Spend some time. But anyway, she was telling me that she had a friend going to Germany. Right. And they're, they're, they got roadblocks up. Blocking all the um, the grain trucks. Wow! And they're dumping out all the grain. Wow! Do you know what they're doing in the European? Uh, like I said, the farmers are protesting this shit. They're they're taking their uh, their trucks and they're fucking spraying shit all over the city government buildings. I I love it. And if we did that here, what would happen? <laughs> you know what would happen? Yeah, we're we're gone. We're gonna end up in a gulag like like these others. It's sad. It's unbelievable. Yeah. I never thought I would see it. And this is, this is how bad it is here. I don't know if you heard about this. Just because I won the two lawsuits, I was protesting on a sidewalk, and they fucking put me in jail for it. They turned it right. into disturbing the peace. Oh, really? Really? Dude, yes, you know what I know. Disturbing the peace is not for protesting, right? Jesus, yes. It, it's that sad, even right here. And lately, you know, this has been, you know, like, like a year since it's all finally died and all this shit. They're still trying. I got the CAD reports, the phone calls, and the traffic with the police. They're still trying to find a way to shut me down just because I'm doing the truth. Your little Punta Gorda has gone so far to the right. Unbelievable. It's sad. You know what? Whoa. And I'm, and I'm sure you would agree, too. Our, our city council here is supposedly Republican, but they're almost acting like commies if they're doing that shit, right? There we go. So now they can see it. Very good. Very, very good. So, yeah, I'm trying to do what I can when I can, and, uh, yeah, and they, they hate it. I was a topic on uh, uh, the Nexor app. 220 comments. Half of them were trying to uh, incite violence against me for protest. I am dead serious. They literally said, can we find a motorcycle group that'll make him disappear? On next door, Punta Gorda. Are you, does it make you proud? Uh, yeah, I'm real proud. All right, so does that mean you got your beans, bullets, and rice, and you're ready for when it goes bad? I've got them. All right, do you agree that they're going to try some bullshit before the election again so they can't have an election? Well, I don't know about that, but I know they're going to try something. Right, yeah, I, yeah. Something. Yes, I agree. That I think they are going to try something. You know, what's really sad is the Democrats, they're no good. Right. But but the good thing with them is they stick together. That is true, and the Republicans okay, do not. Okay, the Republicans are correct. do not. The good news, McConnell is finally stepping down. That just happened. Took way too long. What? Okay, that was for or against? I didn't hear it. Was it fuck Trump? I don't know either. I don't know. 
I, oh, by the way, doing this for the past three years too, I've been assaulted 10 times on video and ask me how many were uh, prosecuted. None. None. But, but the baby killers can be 100 to 200 strong downtown here a couple times and the police completely supported them. There you go. Hey. <laughs> I told you that. All right, where are you guys going? Over to Dean's. All right. Oh yeah, that's good food. They got a uh, nah, the food. The food's so so, but right. My buddy here that I worked with, we're from New York. Right. Up by Buffalo. You could never tell by the accent. But anyway, um, he's got a, in this band that plays tonight. It's called Two XL. Right. He went to school with two of the guys in the band. Oh no shit! In Michigan. Oh, I got another Michigander. Yes, there. You, wow. Yeah. So. Yep. Very good. So we just come down and watch these guys. They're, they're pretty good. We, I like them. Right. There you go. So. I will admit that is one good thing about Punta Gorda. Our little downtown is fucking hopping now on the weekends. It is nuts how busy it is. You can't even find a parking spot. I I used to set up here on Fridays. I can't even set up here on Fridays. It's so packed. But uh, that's awesome, man. Very, very good. Did you ever try their uh, chips and cheese, the big one? No. Oh, my God. That's, that's... Hey, there you go. I don't eat a lot of shit. Right. You know, cheese isn't good for you. That is true. You that know, is true. I don't eat it all the time. That's the only medication I take is cholesterol. Right. It's the only thing. And very cheese, good. And cheese isn't good for it. Very, very good. So, so you know, too, to try to stay off the drugs. The drugs? The pharmacy. The biggest drug pushers in America, oh, the pharmacy. Okay. Yeah, I, I just had a pinched nerve in my back. Right. And I was I got sick. I went to the doctor and I um pro provlasic, whatever the fuck. Right. It is. Correct. I know which one. Okay. It just come out, it's new from Pfizer. Right. My copay <laughs> my copay was thirty three dollars. Right. They I says, Come on, my copay doesn't pay at all. Right. She says paid most of it. She says, you know how much it is if you don't have insurance? How much? $1,600. Wow! I says, are you kidding me? Who can afford that It doesn't have insurance? I agree. Hey, by the way, look into the Philippines. Uh, they, they, in my opinion, those women are way safer. I got one. Okay. Yeah, look into the Philippines. They speak English second language. That's a good thing. My, and, my neighbor two doors down, he, uh, he's a cop, deputy. Yep. He's married to a Filipino girl. Oh, shit. With What's his name? Mark. Oh, I don't want to know anymore. Don't tell him you met me. Do not. No, I, dude, I, don't, I don't really talk dude, to him. Dude, him and his wife threatened me and my wife with fucking death on Facebook. Really? I am dead serious. By the way, he said you're from Michigan. Where? Uh, Flint area. Okay, Grand Open Rapids, County. 1980. Oh, yeah, West Side. Yeah. 1980 high school. Those were the days. Yep. But as you know, we had to come here because we don't have any fucking fur and it's cold up there, right? Yes. That's it was nice that. today. Six, yes, it was. Well, yesterday was 67. Today was snowing. There you go. All right. You have a good day, man. Good to meet you. Thank you for being an American. I appreciate it.